There we go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and good evening, and welcome to another live stream. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. So, back to the usual live streaming schedule with Tuesdays, and of course, it is Elite Night. Dutchess Asylum, good evening. How was the vacation? It was very nice. Just gonna get myself some water to get this evening started. We have nap, as always. Happy shrapnel. <laughs> DNP is here. Hello, Robert. What's up, my verbal brother? Oh, yeah. I can see I've done my cameras of light off here. Hold on. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Good. I need to tighten that up at some point. Pressy, hello, Pressy. Dragon Eyes also there on Twitch, and we have the Jesper on YouTube with Niels, I guess. Niels, I guess. Jameson, Grimulus, Tangents, Spectri, Spec, Spectra, Spectri. I don't know, something like that. Um, wow, Elect. Kimons, Elekimons, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um, the Thargoids took over the bubble while you were gone. No, bubble, I've, I've been in game. The bubble looks fine. <laughs> Surprise attack. Um, Dark side, good evening. Okay, let's talk about today's topic. So I talked about this some weeks ago, um, many weeks ago now, actually. I've been building. Um, I've been building. I've been wanting to build a sniper build for like the longest time, and I've been doing multiple iterations of it. Um, the first version of the build was built on a um, imperial courier with kind of the let's just have something that's so quick that you can outrun them in reverse, and then just keep sniping at them as they approach you. And while the staying away from them worked quite well. The problem was the whole thing overheated and it actually managed to destroy itself from heat before it managed to shoot down an anaconda. So, not the best build. So we reworked it and we built it on a Diamondback Scout. That worked a lot better and cooling was not a big of an issue as we first as we first thought. Um, we Our theory crafted it with you guys on, on the stream. Um, and after we realized that the overheating wasn't really as, as big of an issue as it was on the courier we have now swapped over to a diamondback explorer which has a slightly better advantageous loadout for a gun layout for more damage which was the main issue was the damage output wasn't uh, high enough and it was running out of ammo a little bit too quick for my liking we could only take down a few ships before you were out of ammo so we've done a few things we can go with the build real quick um I can just quickly jump in game so you can actually see it. Here we have it. It's that beautiful. This is the Murder Hornet. I love that. It's going to be fun. It's not finished, obviously. Um, and the thing to plan today is I need some materials to actually finish this build. Um, so I don't have all the engineering materials we need. And the plan today is to go and collect maybe not all of them but at least as many of them as i can however i don't want to just do the usual like loops at dav's hope and run at uh, uh the crash uh, jameson's crash site on the, the shafts that kind of stuff while it's fast and very effective it also gets quite boring so i want to try something different today i want to try some older methods to see if they are still somewhat viable or just try alternative methods of collecting materials um but because i know a lot of you guys will be asking i'm just going to quickly jump in so we can have a quick look at the build this is how it looks right now um and if i zoom in a bit you can probably see it a little bit better like so quickly it is an armor tank we are going to be reliant on uh running cold so we might from time to time shut off our shield so you can see we are running shieldless here so we can't go side and running. Um, therefore, reactor service armor, them resist deep plating, and with a lot of hull reinforcements in the ship itself, all with heavy duty deep plating in here, 
uh, you can see we actually get a pretty respectable 2,600, almost 2,700 raw hit points with our effective hit points across the board around 5,000 on our DBX. This is not bad at all. Um, nothing too surprising with the... Uh, actually, we have a low emission 5 power plant on this. So this is running very cold with that, this power plant in and monster it for a little bit extra heat or her extra power thrusters clean drive drive distributor again we're going to keep the heat down fsd is pretty standard with increased rain mass manager life support is light weighted um sensors are long range i believe yes sensors are long range because we need that extra range to actually be able to see the targets at long ranges it's a sniper build and the power distributor is that weapon focal cluster capacitor to feed those hungry, hungry railguns that we've got to come to in a second. The other fun thing is the optional tunnels is, of course, we have these two fuel tanks here. It might seem like an odd choice in a combat ship. I mean, it's not like we need 600 light years of total range, right? But this is because the railguns, as it is right now, again, remember, this is completely untested. So I don't know if this is going to work. But the workaround to run out of, because we were running out of ammo, we have, as you can see here, only 80 shots with us and one loaded. So that's quite limiting. Um, so because of that, I've gone long range with plasma slug. Plasma slug allowing us to use the ship's fuel to, um, as basically as ammo, and we can use that instead. So these two fuel tanks here are essentially just more ammo. It's more stuff we can shoot at people. Since we don't have a fuel scoop and we can stay wherever it is for longer. Um, for the utilities, we have two point defenses to take care of incoming missiles because that is quite a bit of a of an issue. We have decent resistances for explosive, but it destroys our surface components, including our weapons. Um, so we have point defense to deal with that. And we have a chaff launcher to throw off uh, any, uh, any gimbal weapons and a heat sink for emergencies if we overheat. Um, and also to be running if you want to run really, really cold. And this heat sink is actually unengineered in this build. Uh, there should probably be ammo capacity, to be honest, so we get an extra heat sink out of that one. Um, I would think. I think the point defense, we could put ammo capacity to point defense, but nah, really don't want to. Chaff, we have 10 chaffs. We could also put ammo capacity on that for 15 chaff. I, I don't know if we want to do anything there. Um, let me see. Hold on. Let me catch up on chat. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Good. But if we just quickly jump over on uh, on Inara, go to engineering, and look at my crafting list. I believe that this is what I still need to engineer. Um, you can see, for instance, the plasma slug here. It says that I'm doing. The ones where I'm doing no rolls because I only need the experimental. And I have all the components, but I need some proto light alloys. We need some selenium and we need some abnormal compact emission data. Uh, so that's what we're going to be trying to collect today. And uh, I don't know which one we should start with. I mean, proto light alloys would normally be collected from high grade emissions. Um, and it can also be gained for mission reward. I don't want to run high grade emissions now. What about selenium? Also, service prospecting and mission rewards. Scanning combat ships. Okay, this is a little bit more fun. You know what? What I, you know what I haven't done in a while. I haven't looked at what was going on with uh, what's its name. What's the, what's the name of the system? Um, come on, the one with the installation with all the ships that are fighting each other. Isonor, I think Isonor. Isonor. Is Isanor? Is how was how's, what's the name of that system, guys? Somebody help me in chat. No, it's I'm just spelling it wrong, maybe. Isinor.
Yes, 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 thank you. Perfect, and it's pretty close to be honest. You know what, let's go and have a look at, um, at what that system has to offer. I don't know, I mean, okay, so this system used to be pretty good for collecting materials because there is a site in here gonna take this one um, there's a site in here where there are two opposing pirate factions in big ass ships that are fighting each other and we can then just go in and loot the materials as they explode so for this I will be using the blunder boss I think is good for this Two jumps. Perfect. Let's go. And again, I think Frontier made some changes to this, meaning that it wasn't effective any longer. But... Oh, was this a little loud on my end? There we go. Limpets. Thank you. Always forget my limpets. Oop. Little too fast there. Everybody's like, limpets, limpets, limpets. <laughs> uh, that's maintenance. Let's just get a full hold of limpets. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Just check our route. Route is still good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'd had hello. Okay, let's go. Come on. See here, there was a question earlier in chat. Yes, Robert, this is the blunderbuss. For the guys who are wondering. Uh... And yes, it's the it's built on a chieftain. Um And the idea behind the build is to get up close and personal, so um, I get really up close and personal, so quite the opposite of what we're actually trying to build today, but it just basically rips large ships apart. This is designed for one thing and one thing only, um, and that is to go up to close, or get up close to big slow ships like corvettes, uh, anacondas, um, cutters it can do pythons and, and stuff like that other um, like medium sized ships it struggles a bit with um, um, it struggles a bit with something like a fertilance or mambas and that kind of stuff but most of the other one is uh, oh it's just been years is it unauthorized installation I think it's the unauthorized installation if I recall correctly Any chance of getting the scanning time down 
on the SRV. What do you mean? Raymond says, quick question, you got a la, 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 expedition build for an account. I got it up to 62 light years. That's pretty good. Yes, um, Mike, yes, this is essentially, again, the name is the blunderbuss. If you don't know what a blunderbuss is, it's like this, uh, basically like a hand cannon that has this barrel that opens up. It's, it basically is supposed to have a range of like two centimeters. <laughs> What is the lore behind the command name MP Astro? So MP Astro has been my gamer tag since I was first I first got into gaming when I was playing Diablo 2, I think when that was the thing everybody played. And you know, it was the first time I was really playing an online game and I needed to have a um and I needed to find an, an a, a, a attack I could use right and MP is the uh, initials of my uh, of my name and then Astro is because of my interest in astronomy so I took my name I shortened it to my initials and I took one of my biggest interests and I added together and that's how MP Astro makes and I've been using that ever since and this is why this character specifically was made before I made the YouTube channel before I decided I wanted to make a YouTube channel and that's why it's called MP Astro now I use down to astronomy a lot more um, in games when I get the, uh, when I create accounts because most people know me as that. But that's also why a lot of people call me Astro when we just uh, are chatting more casually. Um, simply because it's from the MP Astro uh, tag. Yes, and now you have all the people who thought I'm who thought my name is Dave, who's very very confused in chat. Okay, this looks about right. There's no one here. It's definitely the right place, you don't... Oh, there we go. I think I found them. I wanted to move my silver on the other side here, so you guys can see if I get any data. There's a gold gang member there. I think he should be wanted. Yes, he is definitely wanted. So we can go up. We can uh, can have a bit of fun with him. You can see he's already being shot at by the other ship, so we are gonna get some help from him. Out of range, out of range. Need to get up nice close behind him. Like so. Oh, and then open up with the Kirtle Scramblers. Oh. Ah, messed that up a bit here. Just keep behind him. There we go, he's gone. I need to destroy that uh, fire group. That's annoying that I have that extra fire group there. So, what did he drop? Refined focus crystals, focus crystals, precipitated alloys, all kinds of good stuff. Let's get some collectors out. Then a condo over there. Logan gang, so he's clean. I don't see any more shooting.
<laughs> I tapped out for two seconds that he did. Yeah, it, this was a bit of a messy run. I messed up my um, my switching. The uh, first of all, I was very late on my uh, my five group swap, and I had to do it. Only have a single collector. Apparently, I do. I was late on my five group swap, and I um, and I messed up the multi cannon at the beginning. I didn't get the multi cannons in quick enough, so it didn't have corrosion effect on him during the first shots, and I wasn't fast enough on the uh, on the passive files, um, and I messed up my positioning, so he actually managed to get turned around and face me, which wasn't really intended. So there was a lot of messing up there that that needs to be uh, needs to be improved. But we'll do ne better next time. Just to collect this. See, someone actually managed to wake out. So if I had a wake scan, I could have uh, had got that. I mean, focus crystals is tier 4 materials. That's not too bad. Watch it go out and pick this up now. Yep. Stupid limpet. I don't think we got any tier 5 material this time. I should really put more collectors on this so it's faster collecting. What collector is a bit on the low side. This is also Logan Gang. But I'm scanning it just because we can't get... One of the things we needed, remember, was uh, was shield scan data. So... I'm still gonna scan the ships so I can find them. But these have all been scanned. So let's just go ahead and board hop. How to get the Isenor permit? You find the chapter of Isenor, which is a faction. I can see. Well, is this actually owned by Delta Squadron now? Oh, that's interesting. But you have um, you have the chapter of Isenor, and if you get allied with them, they will give you permit. Okay, we have lots of stuff going on here already. We have a gold gang and a conda. We have some other federal ships. Let's get that anaconda. Where is he? Oh, hey, his shield's already offline. Let's see if I can get a position on him with. There we go. Oh, thought I would get him there. There we go, he's gone. Are there more of them? So this, what was that an assault ship? Yeah. I'm just gonna take out the assault ship real quick as well. Oh, never mind. I didn't get a shot in, should have just shot him. So Thermic alloy. Hey, we got the proto light alloys. Wasn't that what we needed? Yeah, look at that. Proto light alloys. Nice. Let's get that collector out. There we go. Oh, there's another member in an eagle. That uh, probably doesn't doesn't matter. We're just gonna go for the big ships. I can scoop this one manually unless my limpet's gonna take it from me again. It always does.
Yeah, the bounty should be Delta Squadron, right? Yeah, it is. Two kills and 400,000 is pretty good. Okay, materials collected. Let's do this again. There used to be a lot more ships here. Usually you could get like two or three ships per, per run. There we go. This is fun. Corvette. As always, we're gonna get in behind him before we open fire. Like so. Oh, a little bit too far away there. Get in close. There we go. And just beam down his shields. We're gonna power through his shield boosters. Oh, not that one. That one. And he's gone. With a little help from the NPCs. To participate in the thermic alloy chemical manipulators, nice. You know, it's fun when you can when you can completely just power through their <laughs> their shield cell banks. When just like we don't care about your shield cell banks, it just means your shield is depleting slower, it doesn't mean you're actually regaining any shield, it's only buying you time. <laughs> Spectri, Spectri asked what holds I'm running. I'm running a Verpal setup, Verpal Constellation Alpha in the right hand, and a Mongoose T50 throttle A in the left hand. This is all great form, great. Uh, oh, oh no, no, oh, oh, oh. There we go. Put that back on. What's she doing, Limpet? Oh, you. Yeah, some of the stuff is far away. Sorry. Go on, pick it up. I really should have more limpets on this. We're spending and a very large amount of time collecting compared to everything, everything else. Um, is that a conda there I haven't scanned? Let's just see where he's from. He's a Logan gang member. Look at that. Oh, hold on. We have they are eagles. I guess all these corvettes. We're just gonna scan them for data in case we get any. I mean, it's not that often it gives data, but it's elite corvettes that should give some. Yeah, there we go. Decoded the mission data. Oh, hold on. Hello. It's a little cutter. Master cutter. Why is he not doing anything? There is a Logan gang member right in front of him. He's not moving either. Well, this, he's scanning him. You see, he's turning after the, uh, after the Corvette. Well, this should be fun. Shields are gone. Let's 
20% hull. And he's dead. <laughs> it, it just it just never gets old Recharge the shield. We got lost some shield here. What were drinking? Just water. Yeah, it's, it's always fun with the ship. So just like I don't care, my whole ship is exploding. I'm just gonna give. I'm just gonna keep shooting, even though the guy hasn't even lost a single rig of shield. <laughs> oh, even look at the components. High density components, shield emitters, reinforced. So it's mostly grade 4 materials, that's the interesting, let's drop here, we're not getting that much grade 5, but it should be able to drop as well. There's something over there with deployed weapons, it's a Logan gang. It's also a decent amount of wakes here, if you had a wake scanner you could also just run around and scan wakes and make some decent uh, data out of that. Oh, there's a, two gold gang members. Those are the eagles. They're still flying around. Why are you not picking up the refined focus crystals? They're too far away? Yeah, they're too far away. Oh, now we're being scanned. I'm actually more afraid of the eagles than I am of the anacondas because this thing is not gonna. This thing is not gonna survive a. Uh, well, it could survive an eagle attack, but it's not gonna have an easy time taking down an eagle. Um, just get this one. See if I can scoop this one manually. Don't want to spend a limpet on it. Oh, never mind. Limpet is there. Did I engineer the crypto scramblers? Yes, I believe I did. Um, we can look at them here. We have short range oversized so short range because well we are basically scraping paint with them anyway hold on someone sh i am actually being shot at now is that an eagle uh, i knew it this is gonna be interesting need to get really close to this guy i need some pips through my shield so engines to get closer yeah. so i have fixed lasers right now and I need to chase down an eagle. Come on. Ah, almost got him. Well. There we go. Eagle is gone. Woo. If you guys are interested in the build, I saw someone requested over on Twitch. If you go to the Commanders Toolbox, so commanderstoolbox.com, Commanders with an S, um, there is a build section over there, and you can find all my builds there, including this one. Some tempered alloy, shield emitters, this is low-end stuff, most of it. You know what, we're not gonna bother with that, we're just gonna abandon low-end materials, and do another run. As you can see, eagles are was significantly more difficult. Yeah, it's not showing the engineering on my... that's really weird. Um... In the multi cannons, in case you guys are one, I'll look into it after the stream, but just for now, um, it is overcharged corrosive shell. Okay, let's get back into the installation. Just 
just gonna get oops get some pips to system as well gold gang member nice Hey, save some for me. Oh, oh, I overshot that one. I forgot to recharge or reload. I only had one shot. It's pretty bad. Let's try that again. Get it behind him. He's gone. Anything good? Thermic alloy. Facing alloys, focus crystals. It's actually pretty. There's a tier four stuff, but so pythons and fertilizers I don't like. Pythons are okay, but fertilizers I do not like. Because they're fast, and this ship doesn't like fast ships. Especially not fast ships that can actually fight back. Logan gang. Hopefully they're all Logan gang. He's shooting at something. Shooting at that thing. Which is a... Okay, Asp Scout. Nah. And a Cobra. Hold on, did I put... Oh, a few corvettes showed up. Both Logan gang. ship just seeing what spawns in while uh, we're waiting for it to collect the last materials yes both power uh, both weapons are power play the only weapon that's not power play is the one multi cannon i have on good evening don Laura. all of them are local guy oh we don't have any gold gang we have a heat seeker missiles so we're gonna refresh the session Yeah, it's okay, Donglo. We, I've, I've managed so far. There we go. Ooh. Lots of ships here, and there's a gold gang right away there in a in a cutter. Let's get in position behind him. Come on! Stop all the moving around. Fire all the chaff you want, I don't care. Nope. Keep missing up my... Uh... Uh, go past him. And we can push more pips into engines now. We should be... Whoops. These weapons are not using a whole lot of of weapon power anyway. There we go. Oh, he destroyed my limpet. I fired off too early. There's another cutter. That's... That's an assault ship. Just gotta connect this stuff first. 
see, keep an eye on that assault ship in the meantime. The range of the pacifiers, it's, it's okay actually for um, uh, for what they are, but still not great. Uh, let me just check it here. Uh, damage fall off. Is, so the maximum range is three kilometers, with a damage fall off of two point eight. You're actually right. Uh, it, this is going to take a while. This is not the fastest... Oh, yeah, systems. Thank you. Um, it's not the fastest way to collect materials, but again, it is a lot more fun. Okay, that assault ship is going to die. I don't think we have anything that can reach him at this kind of range. Oh, his shields is up for a second. Oh, 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 you know what? My limpets are done. He actually managed to get his shields up. We might actually be able to go in and... Uh, and I just lost him. Where did he go? Oh, he's, there he is. Got him. I want anything on ignore this. There we go. And uh, you don't have to log out and back in, you can just jump out and jump back in. From the installation also works. Yeah, I think the other thing is a little faster. And they don't spawn like Lovers and South, they spawn right where I log out. Oh, are we done? No, it's out there collecting something. You know what? Maybe that's why I added it to ignore list. It's all these low end materials. Tier 3 materials I do want. Let's just put tier 1 and 2 materials on ignore list. I'm just gonna see if there's anything new that's spawned over here. Pythons and Fertilancers. Yeah, good old Isanor. Nope, that's all the same. No, we're not killing clean ships. We're not pirates. on get in range oh this is gonna be a ramp Whee, there we go need to get closer I think I killed his engines. Yeah, I killed his engines. <laughs> okay, let's finish the poor bastard. Uh, 
I see here. Thermic alloys should all be fine. Shield emitters, put that away. Focus crystals. Let's pick up the focus crystals. <laughs> Reynolds has got my first notoriety in the game from Isidore. I feel like a true badass. Don't kill the don't kill the good guys, guys. Oh, typical manipulators. Oh, combat. An unscanned golf is out of range. Could potentially use some sensor upgrades. I think the sensors on this are really, really short range. They are 40. Oops. Um, 40 lightweight sensors, so they're really short ranged. The sensors we could potentially put some longer range sensors on it, but it's not really needed. Uh, Anaconda, Logan Gang, Gang in a, in a cobra. What about the gunship? Logan game. Okay. What FPS? Um, you can see it down here in the corner now. I just turned on the uh, in game F FPS counter. Exit to the main menu. So you can keep an eye on that even while we're in combat. Okay, what do we have this time? Oh, cutter, please let it be the cutter. I love the cutters. Yes! <laughs> hey, my cutter, don't shoot him, it's my cutter. I need to have been close. Not the best position to start shooting him from, but doesn't matter. Ah, didn't switch. Swoops, there we go. That's better. Frame shift? No, 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 you're not going anywhere, sunshine. <laughs> oh, well, limpet's already out. Um, there's again the Cobra. I don't care about Cobras. Where do the community round tables? Um, they, like, it depends. I mean, the which group with the super friendless group we're doing round tables when there is stuff to talk about. We don't have a fixed schedule uh, for when we do these, it's more whenever there's interesting stuff to talk about. We would rather do them. Where there's an actual topic rather than be a uh, guy scraping the bottom of the barrel just to try and get some uh, something to talk about. Biff says frame shift drive cancelled. <laughs> no, 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 you're not going anywhere, sunshine. Can someone please clip that? Uh. <laughs> Connor being attacked, but my shields and hulls are fine. Wait, what? <laughs> Ejected heatsink. I've actually never. No, oh, never mind. I said, I've never seen one of those up close. Someone's fighting over here. Just gonna quickly see what it is. Oh, Corvette, Corvette, Corvette. Is that it? No, that's not in part of the fight. So that's probably a. Just gonna finish the scan for good measures. Could it be the anaconda? 
that part of the fight. Nope. So it's probably the Cobra that's being shot at. Yeah. It's a Cobra fighting a Elite Anaconda. That's going to end well. Well, can't help you there. <laughs> Frame shift drive charging. Permission denied. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, another cutter. Ah, uh, Logan Gang cutter. Anaconda. He's at least fighting something. And it's a gold, gold gang. Missed that one. Uh, assault ship. And Vulture. If they're still alive when I'm done, I'll... Ooh, look at that! Core dynamic composite. Now we're talking. See, this is more like it. And more proto-light alloys. This is very nice. Now we're getting into the tier 5 materials as well. This is what we're looking for. It's not as common as it used to be. But you can still get it. And I get a lot of these materials like the proto-light alloys would normally be something you would go to... Um, to high grades for and well high grades are a little boring if you ask me <laughs> bad joke what's the difference between Isidore and Dav's hope Isidore has no fleet carriers exactly and while we are waiting, we're just going to scan ships for maybe shield data. down closer to the materials to make it a little easier for my pure poor limpets. There we go. Put the same bumper nose on, on that thing as you as on your mining combat. Your face tank is <laughs> well if it, oh ooh, ooh, gunship. Gunship? Can I can I kill? No, no. Disappointed. Ooh, unexpected emission data. That was unexpected, I guess. Okay, nothing to do here. Exit to main menu. Let's do it again. Mm, we've got two Corvettes here. Logan Gang Corvette. I have an eagle attacking me, that's annoying. I need to figure out which one is the bad guy of the big ships. Probably Logan Gang? No? So none of them? What about that Corvette? 
Yeah, he's running, but he's also clean. Oh, a Baron Shield Pad Analysis. Nice. Was that the one we needed? Hold on. No, it was abnormally mission component. Yeah, so that was not the one. But it's good. That was a good one. Um, there's just a assault ship and a courier. I don't really want to bother with... Is there anything here I'm missing? I'm gonna do a relock. That's uh, too small. But we got some good shield data there. Hey, there we go. <laughs> there you go, Frontier. You can have a block report. Just get this thing booted up again. 30k. 30k what? Sorry. Yes, we should probably do the old uh, surface thing. <laughs> Wrong game. Okay. Um, we will probably go and do some of the surface installations. They're quite fun. And I actually think they have been slightly buffed since um, since people stopped doing that. You know what we're actually going to do here? Let's just go ahead and uh, make sure we have... Let's just... Okay, we're going to do one more run, then we're going to update in our, we're going to check if we got what we came for. Got what we came for. And then we're going to go do some service installations. Oh, look at that. Three anacondas. Please tell me one of these ships. That anaconda. That's not an anaconda, that's a fighter. I think that anaconda, yeah. Oh, camera. Ah, sorry. I messed up my pips and didn't wasn't really ready for this at all. Ugh, one percent. Can you guys finish this guy off? Okay, he's exploding. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna swap ships to something else that actually has something that we can use for service installations. You know what, I'm gonna be a little cheeky here. Uh, I'm not sure I can actually hit him at this kind of range. No, I think I had a few shots hit him there. Come on, get closer. Yes, uh, Dutch, is this is the, the blunderbuss. There's a cutter that I haven't scanned. Logan gang. Scan him for the data. Is that gold gang member still alive? No, that's one of the python. Ah, uh, okay. Alive. Incoming hostiles detected. Oh, okay, let's wait around then.
I don't see any hostiles. Yes, one second, Uncle Laura. Something down here. Nope. Nope. This is a very non hostile environment. Right, yes, I forgot that. Thank you, Don Glor. I'll quickly get that uh, that fixed. Uh, 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 uh. No, I'm that oh, oh, and oh, how do I uh, yeah. settings? No, I think my uh, here, no. I'm such a noob at uh, edit profile. No, I'm such a noob at Twitch. Uh, I don't use Twitch often enough. Twitch is not set to the right category. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out how to fix it. Edit. Yes, here we go. Category. We are playing Elite Dangerous. And we have some tags. There we go. Just got to update it with that. I didn't update the tax though. Hold on. Okay. Tax, never mind. This is now updated to the meters. Thank you. Okay. Let's get back here. So. Incoming hostiles detected. You keep saying that. But the fact that there's nothing here determines that that is a lie. There's an anaconda there I haven't scanned. Logan gang anaconda. Fertilance. Same thing. Same thing here. Something out there. Just gonna quickly move in that direction, see what it is. Oh, that thing is running cold. It was like a kilometer away and I couldn't see him properly. Also, diamond back. Okay. While they're doing that, we're just gonna quickly update um, our materials. We're gonna head in here and we're gonna refresh this. So we got everything we needed here. So we still need some selenium. I think abnormal, okay, hold on. I need to go and find a very, very old video I did a long time ago. Give me a second. Uh, well, I could probably search up on my own channel. Oh, you already found it? Damn you, Don Gloria, you're way too fast. Yes, that is it. Now, this is going to get confusing, so I'm sorry. I'm going to put myself down here in this corner. Old video from 2017. Did I put a list of the materials in the description? Oh, yes, I did. And I even put the full list of everything. Thank you, past me. Uh, so it looks like we cannot get... Because we need the abnormal compact emission data, which is really easy to get from Jameson's Crash Cobra. 
Yes, this is YouTube Inception. <laughs> um, but you know what? I'm going to do it anyway because I haven't done this in a while. At... Expired. Oh, my limpet died. But I still want to go and see if this is still viable. So, system, body, and name. So, okay, so if you're not familiar with this, the idea is you go to a... I will show you when we get there. I just need to quickly find that map there. Um, I remember that map took me ages to make. Not the actual map, but the... You can see here. I'm just going to mute, so it's not going to be too... But having the SRV be in the same position as I am on the actual, like... And I didn't do a too good job, to be honest. But I think there's one there, one there, one here, here, and here. Yes. Okay. Good. We're going to go there, and we're going to do this. And here's the list. So we're just going to figure out. But I need another ship for this. So we're going to head back to the carrier. We have people turning game flames at that, so yeah. It's effective, but not the most fun gameplay loop in the world. Oh, hold on. Do I have fuel enough to get back? Oh, I hope. Why does these... I assume this, those are the crystal shards you're linking. Why don't they work? Are you doing it in open? Because I think most of the time when people go there and they don't find anything, it's because they're running around in open. Fuel red stream incoming. No, not today. I have plenty of fuel to get back. Home sweet home. Dabs loop in 45 seconds. That's pretty good. Is that must be including load times, right? But 45 seconds is fast. That's a good point. Uh, as long as I'm within 500 light years of my carrier and it has enough fuel to reach me, then I should never actually need a fuel rat. Because if I run out of fuel, I can always just call the carrier to the same system, assuming I have enough in my reserve fuel tank to actually fly the ship to the carrier. Shots says, I'm in orbit, no bio spots. Have you scanned? I assume you have mapped the planet. Yeah, and if you then forgot to transfer fuel to the tank, then you just, well, out of luck, I guess. Okay, I should flood a little bit. Never ever leave a fleet carrier on empty. I might have 
done that a few times and not realized it, but most of the time when I'm jumping the carry, I'm on board anyway. Ah, oh, hold on, I should check something, hold on. I should check something when we're not about to overshoot the carrier. Because I think the channel is actually getting really close to 60,000 now. So if there's some of you out there watching who hasn't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate if you did. It would be really nice to pass 60,000. And while you're at it, of course, if you, enjoy, if you are enjoying the stream, please go down and give it a like. Landing pad 9, where is it? It's there. Hi Dave, thanks a lot. Okay, let's swap to something. Uh, I guess the camera condo will have to do. Okay, so now we just need to find a system that's not too far away. Um, like that one, for instance. Two jumps, I'll take that. I agree, Dodges. It would be really nice if the fleet carriers... Oh, look at that. It's taking off at the same time as me. If the fleet carriers would have special messages for the owner. Thanks for the follows on Twitch. Science Keeper, good evening. Where we're we heading in the system, we are heading to the planet Gold at Ejector Relay. Nice. What happened? I have no system targeted. I have SRVs. Thank you, Raymond, and thank you to uh, Tenet. The following on Twitch and to Gagen Sul for the subscription on YouTube. I think so. These installations used to only be scannable, is it like once a week or once every two weeks? I think two weeks, I can't remember uh, how often you could scan it. But there was at some point at least you could just, they were changed so you could scan them by just relocking. So I want to test that today if, if we can rescan these by relocking. Because they could put these, especially for stuff like crack industrial firmware, they would put these back on the, on the menu for something like that. Will actually be very good for crack industrial firmware. Okay, even here we have uh, fleet carriers around the planet or moon, actually. The moon gold. Fleet carriers everywhere. I 
a little viper. We have Excalibur Forever says, just wanted to say thank you for uh, for the upkeep page for the fleet carrier because of the info it provided me. I'm gonna buy one. I'm glad I could help. Uh, in case you're wondering, he's referring to the, uh, I assume you're referring to the um, the price calculator, the fleet carrier price calculator on the commander toolbox, where you can calculate how much your upkeep is going to be and how much it's going to cost you per week, month or per year, or how much it's going to cost you actually buy it. There's a link in the dis in the chat now. Thank you, Dongle. And thanks for all the follows and subscriptions. Cody asks, what's the Twitch name? The Twitch name is Down to Earth Sorry, it's Down to Earth Astronomy in uh, in one word, I believe. You know what? I'll just quickly. Yes, Down to Earth Astronomy. Go ahead and post a link for the Twitch on YouTube. Uh, 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 should we quickly check? I'm just gonna quickly go here. I'm probably gonna overshoot if I'm not careful. Well, that's gonna be okay. Studio, live subscriber count. Yeah, getting there. Less than 500 away from 60,000. That's nice. What system I'm in? Uh, that Delta Pavonis and the moon gold orbiting the planet Delta Pavanus 4. And someone's legacy is there. Late game reviewer, thank you very much. <laughs> so, been watching some of your videos, really good content. I'm now filthy rich. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see if we can find that outpost. We need to go to. There we go. That's the relay. So we're gonna land quite a bit of distance outside the outpost because oh, we're coming a little fast, I think. Just gonna do a go around here. Um, but we're gonna land a thing around three kilometers outside because they usually they don't like ships. They don't like things flying in their airspace. They don't mind SRVs, <clears throat> but ships, not so much. Probably gonna drop at like 20 kilometers anyway, so. Ah, it's gonna get quite in, quite close. little rocket this the terrain here okay so we are right at the end of the trespass zone let's see if we can find a place to land here it's a pretty flat spot here there we go Oh, 
Come on, log in. I hate this. Come on. What am I moving? Why am I not? Yeah, so the center legs are not really touching. People saying FA off. Oh, that was the wrong one. Find another spot, and I'm, of course, I also managed to flip the wrong switch, so I got my shields offline. So now we're landing without shields. That's also fun. Oh, let's try this one. There we go. Deploy an SRV. Hey, let's go inside. Landing there. Something blue over there. What's that? Oh, that doubt disappeared again. Looked like a shield that was being activated. Some skimmers here. Could have been the skimmer spawning. So it's been a few years since I've done this. So let's see if I remember how you actually do it. Uh... Skimmers. Bye bye, skimmers. Just gonna jump all these pipelines. Okay, so I think if I recall correctly, there should be one in here hiding somewhere. There it is. And then just give this a quick flip around. Oh, I need to check my... Ah, 
Ah, there it was. Forgot my key bindings for this. And then, whoops, should be one around the corner here. Should give you more time. Alert. Network security protocol activated. And then, if I go past this jump the rocks it's all i think behind that building right in front of the telescope looking thing there should be one as well I'm gonna jump all these turrets as well and slow ourselves down should be one in here between the pipes somewhere oh yeah there it is i see it And the last one. Oh. Here I sit eating my tacos. I wonder again when we'll see Carlos. <laughs> we actually had a Carlos subscribe to the channel the other day. I love that. And there's the other. There's another one. And thanks, luck, uh, Cursor, for the uh, for the donation. go one left and this one is a cheeky one because the last one is actually behind this wall but if you drive up in this corner right here there you can see the data point behind the wall and scan it through the wall. And I'll look at my data collection here if I get anything good. So, Divigan scan data, open symmetric key, modified embedded firmware. That's all pretty good stuff. And we're done with all of them. So now the question is... Can we relog and do it again? Or do we have to swap to a new base? Usually, you had to move to a new base. And this is why when you go and look at the video, you will see I've made this list. And what I did back then when I made the video was I took all the systems, all the planets where these bases were located. You can see here the last one on the list is the same as the start. And I ran them through a traveling salesman algorithm. Now, I've got a going to quickly pitch it's essentially the same thing it was a very very early version of uh, the multi-waypoint route platter that you have in here on um, um on the commander's toolbox where you can plug in systems and you can ask you to calculate routes but the same thing i did um i did back then um and that means you can just go to the next system the next this thing we have to do that back then but um I think at some point you were able to relock do that again. So let's see if we're lucky. We can't scan them, but the question is do we get any data when we're done? We can do the whole loop, so we have to do that again. Because if we could just keep doing the same base over and over and over again. And take this one.
Just doing the same thing, but in the opposite order this time. Hello, Skibbles. Hello, Turret. We're gonna jump the skimmer. Not. I don't want to crash into the skimmer. That would be bad. Uh, crazy. I'm really liking the purple. Um, there's a few things I would like to change. I did a review of it where I talk about some of the things I would like to change, but overall, I'm really happy with it. Oh, by the way, if you see those big, big ones there, do not scan those. The big one, the white one right there. That's gonna end in tears. I'm also using a verbal, uh, a verbal throttle. The, the old mongoose T50, not the new one. Oh, I'm too close. Hold on. So, do we get any data now? That's the question. I do! Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that! We got classified scan fragments, security firmware patch, and difficult. So we ha we can relock. Perfect. This makes this really, really fast. I'm not sure if it's faster than the crash. Lord, we should check that. What, what, what time is it? Yes, we have time to do a test. We're going to do a test. And... Um, I'm just going to check. So the materials we're getting from these are classified scan data bank. So we need to check this over here. Uh, material finder. All types. Data. Okay. Classified scan data banks. This grade three, but it's grade three data archives. So let's just quickly check the data archives. The grade five one is classified scan fragments. Classified scan fragments. Okay, hold on. Let me make a uh, notepad here. Notepad opened off screen. Wonderful. Okay, I don't want to do that right now. Uh, ah! Yeah. That would do this <laughs> instead. So we have classified scan fragments of whoops. Ah. There we go. Classified scan fragments of which I have I have a hundred, so I have all of it. I'm full on classified scan fragments. So that's just gonna be a poor test for that. Then we have industrial firmware. I think this is something called encoded firmware. Industri crack industrial firmware. Modified embedded firmware is the other um, grade five. Right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, modified embedded firmware, divagant scan data. It's 
part of that one. Abnormal bulk data, do we have that? No, there's a one more group here. Okay, so the other one was modified embedded firmware. How am I doing for that in game? I have 28, so this is this one we can test. Uh, <laughs> open symmetric key. Um, mm, open symmetric key is encryption files. And the grade five one is adaptive encrypted captures. We do not get those out here. Okay, so we can get two different grade five <clears throat> data materials from this. One of them is um, classified scan fragments, but I have that category full as well already. The other one is modified embedded firmware. Um, and also something like the uh, the cracked industrial firmware. It's not very useful, but it's a great three material, so we can downgrade that if, uh, if we want to. But we can test it with the modified embedded just to see and I have 28 now. Uh, like here. Right, 28, yes. So what I'm going to do now is going to do half an hour. And we're going to keep running loops for half an hour. We're going to see how much I'm collecting. How many modified embedded firmware do I get in half an hour? Um, let me just find this. No, that's the calculator. That's not what I want. I want clock thingy. And I want a timer. And I want a timer for 30 minutes. Right there. And we're going to start that. And we're going to see how much I collect. Um, yes. We're going to see how much I can collect uh, in, 30 hour, or in 30 hours. In half an hour. Because I think, get, correct me if I'm wrong, but a trip to Jameson's crash site. And like uh, getting out there and going back and doing the cross trade um, is about half an hour, I think. And at that time, you can get 17 of any um, grade 5 data. So if I could get more than 17 in a half an hour, then this is faster than Jameson's for this specific material. Keep that in mind. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go start and we're going we're gonna to go. Timer is now running. Will you recommend, will you comment the current state of mining? Frontier has announced that they're going to launch a patch on Monday next week. That's going to address some of the problems that has been uh, been made with mining. And until then, there's really no point in going into too much detail with it. You also notice that I've done no dedicated videos on it. I mentioned it in Hello Dave because it's newsworthy, but I haven't done any dedicated videos on it. Um, as far as I remember, at least. Simply because this is going to get changed. And it's going to get changed very soon. So there's no point in going into too much detail with it. It's unfortunate that it has lasted as long as it has. But I don't think it's... I mean, Frontier did what they could. They refueled people's carrier. Basically, everybody got a full tank of fuel. So that it could uh, could keep this carrier flying. Um, and I think it's a really nice gesture from Frontier. And just really show that they, they know that there's something that's not right, they know it's causing problems for players and that's preventing them from um, from actually doing the stuff they want in game. So they're trying to to help people around it without just shoving cash into people's wallets um, by filling up the fuel tank where of course you can't take the tritium out. So I think it was a really nice, uh, nice gesture and again on Monday hopefully then we can begin to go in and uh, and take a look at what the state of mining is and then you will probably begin to see some dedicated videos and i wouldn't be surprised if the live stream next week was going to be going out testing it since patch will be out monday and i'm going to be live streaming tuesday so it would be a good option to do it then Now, I don't know exactly what's going on, but I think 
I think what's going on is, um, I mean, this is the fourth patch after the uh, after the fleet carriers were introduced in September, and most of them has had some kind of bug fixes for mining. And I think just after you had three patches where there's been something they needed to go back and fix, I think what the reason why this patch has been taking longer than the others is just because Frontier thought, okay, we have to get it right this time. We're gonna go back. We're gonna do this. We're gonna double, triple check everything before we launch it because they want to be 100 percent sure that they get it right which i think is a very very good uh, good way to go about it modified embedded firmware we've got some cracked industrial firmware security firmware patches we got the modified embedded that's pretty neat let's do it again So a trip takes just over three minutes. So we should be able to get like nine runs in in, uh, in half an hour. And to be honest, I would much rather see, I would much rather wait another week for a patch that is then well tested and works then get a patch immediately that is then buggy and needs to be changed again later so i actually really appreciate the the approach frontier has done here wake up are you talking about the um are you talking about the uh, fighter exploit because i'm pretty sure that is uh I don't know if it's already fixed in the last patch. I actually, compl I think they fixed that in the last patch, and but the problem was it just made all materials, uh, well, almost impossible to uh, um, to find. So there was really no reason to use the fighter anymore. Oops, lost control there. Will subsurface still be a thing? Um, I don't know. Um, I hope so, and I think so, but I obviously don't know. I only have the information that Frontiers publicly posted on the forums. Um, so I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what the, what they're planning, but um. Look at that view. Alert. Network security protocol activated. Come on, modified embedded firmware. Classified scan banks. Security cracked industrial firm, they've been scanned in and no modified embedded. Security protocol activated. 
Exterminate! Exterminate! As I think, uh, as Andrew's saying, I think the I think guardian sites are working at the moment. I'm I, I haven't heard anything else. Uh, whoops! Oh, that's a turret. Just my evasive there. I don't think they're gonna bring the egg back. The egg back really only worked because the fighter exploit and the fighter exploit has been fixed. It should have been fixed as far as I know. Or if not, then I'm pretty sure it will be in the patch coming Monday. Okay, we have some said the help our fellow commander get the FSD boosted. The other week, I think it's. I think Guardian sites are fine at the moment. I haven't heard anything. At least. Okay, so there's some people asking about the fighter exploit. The fighter exploit was a bug. Was is the important thing here. Um, that allowed you to, if you were sitting close to an asteroid and you had a fighter, you flew the fighter away. 25 kilometers or something you could then make the rock respawn all its, its subsurface deposits so you could mine them again so you could sit at a rock and you could go out with your fighter and the rock would respawn then you mined it you swapped you swapped over to a fighter swap back to a ship mined the rock again you just kept doing that over and over and over again um just keep mining the same materials all the time um or the same rock all the time and that made mining well i don't know I, I i never really used it um but you could make us absurd amount of money doing that and i'm pretty sure that has been fixed now I think it's the same thing. Um, people ask about flying 25 kilometers away. I think it's the same situation with that. I think the whole resetting rocks is not working anymore. Now you have to wait. I think it's two hours for the rocks to respawn. Yeah, you're right. You, the, the fighter switch was much faster than doing the um, uh, and actually flying out there yourself. But people are just asking now that the fighter thing didn't work. If you could still fly manually, and I don't think you can. I think what they fixed is if you are 25 kilometers away, the rock do not respawn. But the question is how often they now respawn because they must respawn at some point. How are we doing for time? 18 and a half minutes left. Let's do a bear roll this time. Industrial firmware.
<laughs> Dash is gonna show up. Did I forget to scan the one in here? I think I did. Oh, did I? I can't remember. I did. Yeah, my tracks are there, but I think I just left and forgot to actually scan it in the beginning. At least I got extra time for it. Oh, hold on, that's the wrong way. Can I get... Do I have enough fuel to get over those rocks? I do. key hold on I'm just gonna try something what happens if I rescan this okay nothing happens okay no don't get stuck now doing for time we're down to less than 15 minutes so we're about halfway now and i lost count of how many loops we've done but i think this must be loop number five four five i can't remember anymore there's some more modified embedded What's the difference between guardian modules and human modules? Let's use distributors for example. And again, I think I forgot to scan the initial one in there. I'm at a minute and a half. I think that's the start one. I'm just gonna check. Um, hold on. Let me just get this sort of back on track, then we can talk about the different modules. Did I scan this already? I can't remember. I'm not focused on this. I didn't scan this. Okay. So basically, Guardian modules, are, they often use more power. They're often heavier, but they're also better than human modules. However, they can't be engineered. So a grade 5 engineered module will be better than a Guardian one. 
But a guardian is like a grade four, a grade four and a half ish, um, depending on the module. But so basically, they're they're almost the same as engineered, slightly worse, but they're heavier and use more power as well as another drawback. Uh, where was it? Oh, let's just look where I'm driving here. Um, now to scroll down on my my screen, there was someone was saying uh, was saying thank you for the videos. You are very welcome. You're absolutely right, Joe. That each loop here is longer than the one at um, at Jameson. However, you have to remember that you get a 3 to 1, no, sorry, 6 to 1 down trade ratio when you are cross trading, right? Is it 6 to 1? Yeah, it's 6 to 1. So that means if, let's say I get the same data out of this, um, at the same, let's say I get grade 5 data at the same rate as I do on, on the Jameson's crash side, if I can do one loop here in the same time i can do six loops at jameson's crash site um then i'm actually doing fine or doing at least as good as i would if i went to do a jameson's crash site and the benefit of this is it's everywhere and it's you don't have to fly that far in order to uh, to get it more modified and better firmware we're doing pretty good 10 minutes left <laughs> Sam, <laughs> D2A equals greatest Danish nurse since Hamlet. <laughs> That's an honor. So we've done a barrel roll and we've done a backwards loop. Should we try to see if we can squeeze in a forward loop? I think I can squeeze in a forward loop. If I get some good... Good speed up here. Oh, I'm flying sideways. Nice. And a barrel roll. That's true, Dark Side. You can't blow up your ship and save some time so you save the trip back. But I think it's still about, I don't know, half an hour? Is that I like a round trip? How much time do you usually take uh, dark side on a, on a round trip on um, on Jameson's? Both the scanning, the blowing up, the flying down, the, the the flying down there, doing all the scanning, blowing up, and cross trading. Twenty minutes. Okay, my guess was half an hour. Okay, twenty minutes is, uh, seems to be so. We can we can. Uh, I'm going to keep my half hour and then we're going to just round it or do the calculation so it fits with uh, with 20 minutes. But I guess if you have to, if you want to fly back it's half an hour and if you just blow up it's 20 minutes. You don't know how to pronounce Tukubra?
Now do the flat tire. <laughs> I guess the flat tire would look... Let's see if we can figure out how a flat tire would look. Probably something like this. You could even hear it explode when you landed. I don't know. I was hoping for more spin on that one, so like the whole thing would be spinning around. Okay, let's try this. Loop. Uh, we have enough for a barrel roll as well. There we go. And that's the whole point, Dark Side. About the methods I've been doing today. We've been to Isenor, and uh, now we've been here. This is a lot more fun, to be honest. Isonor is more fun than running groups at that, so this is more fun than sitting still at the uh, at the Jameson's crash site and self-destructing yourself. I have four and a half minutes, should be enough for just one more trip, I guess. Gonna do one more trip. The Murder Hornet is... People asking what it means by Murder Hornet. The Murder Hornet is a build that I'm working on and I need materials for it. So that's why we're doing some gathering today. Um, it's one of the sniper builds I've been working on. Oh, do I have enough? I do. Good. Yes, the Sniper Hornet build was done, but then I figured this is like this Sniper build has been a very iterative process. I started out with one build, changed it up, and yet the, the Sniper one that was built, the one called the Sniper Hornet, was built on a Diamondback Scout. The Murder Hornet is built on the Diamondback Explorer, which is a slightly different version of the same build. Um, hopefully better. That's why you haven't seen a build guide for it and you haven't seen a showcase of the build either. Simply because I'm not happy with it yet. I'm still testing, I'm still developing the build. And only once it's a point where I feel it's good enough, then I'm going to do the flight tests, then I'm going to do the... Uh, um, or the, not the flight test, the showcasing of it and the build guides. You know what? I have two minutes left. I'm gonna see if I can if I can squeeze one more in here. Uh, 
Oops. I'm doing for time here. A minute. I think I'm not going to be able to make it in time. This is not going to do anything good for my time. Oh, don't crash into the skimmer. They're going to be mad if you do that. Oh, we're doing for time. Aha, <laughs> 17 seconds. And that's time. Time's up. Okay, just gonna. We have three minutes before this run runs out. We have time to just quickly go and look at our modified embedded firmware. Uh, modified embedded. Wow. Will you look at that? We are at 46. Just gonna write that down, and we're gonna do all the math afterwards. We're just gonna finish the run here. wrong key there oh no live stream is not over This should be the last one of this run here. Okay, 46. So... That is... 18. So in half an hour, I managed to collect 18, and then I need to take two thirds of that. So a third of 18 is seven, and two thirds is then 14. So in 20 minutes, which is about the same time as you can do a run at Jameson's crash site, I got 14, Ooh, look at that, it actually chroma keyed. That's interesting. Well, um, I could do 14, um, modified embedded firmware where you from Davs or Davs, so from Jameson's would get 17 so it's not as fast but you have to remember that this would give me potentially the same amount of uh, what was the other one was it security firmware patch classified scan fragments was the other one but because my classified scan fragment was already full there, I didn't get any of those. But I would have been getting both of those if I was doing this. So I could actually have gotten up to 28 of both uh, in, in total. Which would have made it better if you need both of them. Um, but only if you need both of them, not for cross trading, obviously. Yeah, I'll look in the Discord afterwards. Okay. Last thing I need to do before we leave this place is to go and do silly things with the SRV because it's always fun. It 
if I recall correctly, these sites here <laughs> is... Yeah. That SRV climbing skill though, <laughs> if I can remember. <laughs> Prepare for launch, yeah. Let's do this. Ah, uh, full speed. Whee! <laughs> How tall is this, or how high in the sky is the sun today at this place? Uh, it's okay, actually. Let's try to drive to the east, so we have the sun hitting the top of the tower. Should be easy enough by just following the shadow here. It's, you can clearly see here that Elite is not using... I mean, you can see how, how like, sharp the shadow is, even this kind of range. So it's not using any kind of like diffusion. Hold on, do I have that on? Even maybe I should check that before I actually make a claim like that. That would be ambient quality. Ambient occlusion is high. in here so it's there we go <laughs> I love this place actually if I move back a bit we could do like an eye of Sauron kind of look for it there we go <laughs> okay now where are we at in terms of materials? I kind of lost track. We haven't gotten anything we need, right? No. Because we didn't get any normal compact emission data here. So here's the... Okay, so here's the... Here's the thing I've been considering. I have done a video. Uh, let's get out with some pretty to look at while we talk. I have done a video. There we go. We're at joystick. Um, that will come out this week or next week, I think. Maybe even tomorrow. I can't remember. That's pretty soon. Where I go over an old data collection method to kind of revive it. I could go over all my old videos. These are all like three years old now. Where I talk about this site. But again, I feel like just redoing all my old videos kind of feels, I don't know, I did, I did the one I'm going to talk about uh, in the video because it's one of those that a lot of people I think know about but don't think is doable because of some BTS stuff that has since changed, so it's actually usable now. Um, but that video, I don't know. My point is, I don't want to just redo all the old videos. It's not, it's not fun and it's a little silly. But clearly these things still work and it actually works even better than I describe it in the video. Um, so maybe, I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I, I could do like a series on how to collect data in a fun way rather than in a fast way, if that makes sense. Because there's plenty of like, yes, you could do it in a fast way, go to the crash site, go to that so go to the crystal shards but they're also like at least for some of the materials there are more fun ways to do it maybe it's not as fast but it's fun 
this one is one of them. I think this is a pretty fun gameplay loop. That's also only drops to grade 4, right? Yes, so everything manufactured above grade 4 you would have to get from uh, high grade emissions. Okay, there seems to be general like do fun alternatives because they're rarely covered. You know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do some slight alterations for the video there and then rebrand it or refocus it on doing that in a more fun way rather than and just straight up an alternative. Do I have a selenium video? It's always no. a good time with DTA. Thank you, Scova, and thank you for the donation. Okay, I uh, it seems to be. You know what? I'll try to do something like uh, a series on. Um, I don't know. We should, we should find like a catchy name for it, like playing elite the fun way or collecting materials, fun and easy or something, something silly. Oh, this is skipper. You know what? I actually want to try to see if I can fly into it. Come on, no. Nah. <clears throat> Oops. Hey, I did a barrel roll. <laughs> Where did the skimmer go? Come here, skimmer. There's the skimmer. This is gonna cost me an SRV, isn't it? Hey, I'm gonna be trying to. You have very limited control when you're flying, and I'm gonna try to hit a moving target. It's difficult enough to hit a stationary target with the SRV, and these things are fast. Look, I'm a skimmer now. <laughs> Gonna chase that thing down. Yes, yes, no. Come here. Gonna get some altitude. Running out of power. I thought it was going to spin out there for a second. Oh, it keeps dodging out of the way. Too close for missiles, switch to guns. Yes, you're absolutely right, Skull. Ah, he's flying away again. One thing I have never done is to actually get up on top of one of the telescopes. So I want to see if I can get up there, and then we've got to scan one of the big fat ones, and so then I can show you guys what happens if you do that. I want to see if I can get on top of one of the uh, one of the telescopes. I should be able to land there in between the two, like, mounts, I think. Oops, not like that. I lost all my speed. Yeah, we're gonna go and scan the big white ones and we're gonna get attacked by the base. It's gonna be... Let's see if we can make it out. Might wanna repair. Nah. Oh, I don't think... I have enough power. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, I just want to see if I have it even enough to actually get up there. And it would help if I actually put four pips into engines. I think I do. But maybe. Hmm. Hold on. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, that's the edge. Oh, I didn't have four pips. Damn it, I'm gonna fall down. Okay, that's okay, because now we know there's a ledge there we can sit on somehow. And we can fall down from it again. Let's try that again. It's way lower than I thought, so we're not gonna go up as high. So it's only like... It's like here. That was... even that was too high. Get that a go again. So it's like here. Okay, maybe I don't actually have to land there. I just have to stop there for just a second so I can recharge the ESRV. Just gonna go and then go again. Oh, this is close. I don't know. Mm, okay, what about the other side? I want to see if I, I want to get up on one of these. Mm, doesn't look. Doesn't look promising on this side now, does it? Maybe along the side of it here? If there's like an invisible ledge there as well? Because that seems a little easier to navigate if we can get up on that slope part there. I think there's a chance we can get it up here. And then we should be able to get it up 
Or even down there. I want to go down there. Never got to get out again. But that's going to be fun. Just try to see what we have there along that side. Nope. Okay. I think that's enough playing around with the telescopes. I need a ship if I want to get a... Uh, get down there, drop it off a ship or something. Let me show you what you should not do. But here's the thing we can do. Yeah, definitely not supposed to be here. No, oh, oh, that's the bottom I wanted. I want to reverse. There we go, around the corner. And out there on the wall. Hold on, can we climb up this building? Because if I can get up, probably can't get up there. But if I get up on that one, this one, the, where the blue thing is, I think there's a chance I might be able to jump up on that one. And from there, I don't know, but oh, there's also one down there. I just spotted another one. Look, and there's also one in here in the like the two of them in here as well. There's one there, one there, and if we go over here. There, you can see the beacon we've been scanning as part of the run we've been doing. But for now, I just want to give this tower here a go. No! Ah, oh, saved it. Oh, I got too much forward velocity there. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, I'm hovering over a no trespasser. So. Okay, well, this part is not part of the trespass zone along the wall. So I guess we're just gonna do some scans. Should we do it in here? I wanna do it outside, where we can actually try to flee. That didn't go well. Try that again. Still way too much forward velocity. Or maybe not. That was actually perfect. Or was it? I 
uh, jump outside. Well, that works too, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's scan one of the big no-nos. See, this is a private data point. <laughs> Time for us to run. Evasive maneuvers. Got one. Got another one. I think I got away. Whoa! That was a mine. <laughs> Gonna hide down behind the uh, hide the ridge here again. Think they're running back again. Nope. I need to dive now. No, not what I wanted. Let's get away again. So how much bounty did I manage to collect there? Ah, a thousand, that's okay. We're just gonna hand ourselves in then. For a thousand, that's okay. I have to jump my conda. Can we do a double barrel roll? Yes. Oh, we don't have time for a triple there. Okay, let's recall the ship. Leave settlement. Ugh. It still says I'm inside the settlement.
Oh, three percent hull. That's a way to get back to the ship as well, I guess. Oh, not refuel. There we go. We need to get two kilometers away from the settlement. Oops. What? <laughs> Look at that! That skibbles! <laughs> Skimmer's out looking for us. I think it's time for us to go. Wait, I'm getting closer now. Where is the base? I lost my uh, my sense of direction here. Oh, it's there. I am driving away. Hold on. Do I need to be... Okay. That's weird. Is that the distance I need to cover? I don't know. Hundred meters. Give it a bit more so the ship doesn't land inside the no fly zone. Uh, fuel is getting low. Okay, let's get back in the ship. Don't go that way, you stupid ship. I'm about to say, don't tell me it can't land or something stupid, and it's. I know it worked. I just hope they didn't go back into the no fire zone.
guess we'll see. out here. Oh, I lost it again. It's very small. Whatever it is. Roger, what are you doing down there? <laughs> it's it's on the ground. Yeah, secret underground space is confirmed. Cave systems confirmed. There we go. Out of scan range again. Okay, so the people asking about where I'm at at the moment. Um, that's not the one I want. I want this one. I am in Delta Pavonis. Delta Pavonis. And we are on the moon Gold, orbiting Delta Pavonis 4. And on gold, we are at this site called Ejeta Relay, Relay, something like that. There's a list of Dog Lord post link to a video that has over 40 of these. It is outdated because in that I say you have to travel from base to base to base, which you don't. You can just be locked down. Let's get out of the uh, the mass log area here and set destination back to the carrier. So, of the three materials I needed to collect today, I managed to collect one, but we have also been goofing around quite a bit instead of actually doing what we were supposed to. Um, selenium, selenium is always a bitch, but I guess I've got to find a planet for selenium and just do some uh, geosites. It's often the fastest way to do it. Um, and then for abnormal compact emission data, I'm probably going to head to Jameson's, or unless I can find some other way to find it. Two jumps back, right? Oh, you know what? I should actually... I should actually go and get rid of that bounty I just collected and find myself a uh, an interstellar factor. No systems and stations. Nearest. Okay, that system has all the interstellar factors. And it's really close, it's a neighboring system. Let's go there. Let's hand ourselves in. And get sent to some ship. Oh, it hasn't updated our system. It's thing it's close to the Oh, it is close to our system. Good. Let's go. Yeah, so, okay, the problem I have with megaship hacking is if you wanted to do it in a more, in a, like, a somewhat efficient manner, you have to have the megaship in a system that's in anarchy. And they move around a lot, and most of the time, they're not in anarchy a lot of the, uh, a lot of the time. 
So, I think what I will be doing is actually looking into encoded emissions instead of high grades. It's a bit of the same. It's not necessarily more fun to do encoded emissions. Um, so I'm not sure if it would fit in a data collection in a fun way kind of video series. Um, did HD Hop has this? Was this this a station? Yes, it has. Okay, good. Um, but I don't know. For data, we have this, which is one of the methods. There are other methods as well, but they're not really effective. This one is relatively effective. Encoded emissions can be a way to do it. Perhaps. Do, 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 do. A little bit more speed. It's a mega ship out in Colonia, yeah, but that's in Colonia. Oh, there was a mega ship at some point that was damaged by Thargoids. I wonder if that's still there. Because that thing was just completely wrecked by Thargoids, but the data points on it was still working, so you could just sit there and scan data points. I don't know, a lot of this is just going to be remakes of old videos, but I guess it would be nice to kind of get them a refresh and get them, I mean, most of them are over three years old by now, so they could probably use an update. Because the way lead is changing, and also just go revisit them, see if they're still working. Wow, that thing is heavy. You're on track, Commander. Approach looks good. Scan detected. Nothing to see here, just me. Uh, pad 10 is back there. Time to hand ourselves in. Touchdown sequence complete. You may disembark when ready. You're all checked in, Commander. Enjoy your visit. No, it didn't send us to. Okay. Okay, fair enough. I had all the things I could redeem, apparently. It's a black market here, search and rescue. Never really done much with search and rescue. Mercenary facilities. Okay, how far do I have back to my fleet carrier now? Still two jumps, I guess. Yep, two jumps. <laughs> oh, click back into the game. There we go. <laughs> someone wants pizza, well I guess go get pizza. Call someone to get you pizza.
The tension is now house arrest. Oops. Uh, reading chat. Just gotta do that. It's gonna work fine. Joe says, did I write an also lands? My landings are so smooth. My landings are not smooth. I almost shot the landing pad twice. <laughs> no, I'm landing manually. I don't see how you would write a landing, some landing software without breaking all the terms and services. or in use license agreement or whatever it's called the, the, without doing something for Tia don't like. <laughs> An efficient way to store power play modules. What do you mean? That's not like different ways you store them or you don't. Oh. That's probably going to be a little bit too hot. Oh, I think you're okay. Oh, in ships? I never used that, but you can do that, I guess. Nick, I think the reason why people store them in ships is because they are running out of space in their uh, normal storage. So they use ships instead. Are there any crystal shards locations in Colonia? I don't think so. Not that I know of. problem still continued yes until monday monday next week from she's launching a patch that should fix it okay yeah, exactly type 10 aka <laughs> yeah that's true Home sweet home. Can anyone imagine how much Odyssey will break things? I don't think Odyssey will necessarily break things. The problem is, uh, the problem has always been when the, this, it's the small patches. They have a tendency, like, sometimes the bigger patches, they screw things up massively as well. But the smaller patches where you know, they're making quick fixes, that's when it sometimes goes wrong. At least that's what's been happening with the, with after the fleet carriers. Hold on, some point there who's not green. Who are you? NPC in a kill back. I think the Odyssey update is gonna go through a lot of different, a lot of beta, beta periods to get it tested.
just getting started with power play how much of each module should you get it depends on the module if it's weapons i would probably get like four five or six or something like that depending on how many you think you're gonna need um if it's the shield generators i would get one or two of each size Sweet home. Um, do we hang out with boys after the Yes, we definitely do. Um, because I'm still on vacation, so I'm not going to work tomorrow so I can stay up all night. What are you doing, buddies? <laughs> okay. I think that's gonna be um it's gonna be it for today. Definitely stay tuned to the channel. If you want to see the uh, fun ways to collect materials series, I'm gonna think I'm gonna make that into a series and go over some of the maybe some older methods. That's actually quite fun, but find alternative ways to collect materials that may not be as fast, but it's a lot more fun and a lot more interesting than just running loops at the same places over and over again. So definitely stay tuned for that. But that's gonna be it for the live stream today. Just gonna to jump in here. Um. First of all, thanks a lot for uh, for watching today. Thanks a lot to um, all the people who have been uh, been donating today. Let me just quickly check. We have we've just had Pun Punchin. Is that how you pronounce it? Thanks a lot for the donation of the super chat. Tigger should come up on screen. It's always slow. We had uh, Cursor earlier today, and we had who was the other one? Oh, I forgot again. I had it just a second ago. I need to look that up. I need to remember that I should write this down. <laughs> so I remember that at the end. There's the Tigger. And... Uh, it was Scorp, of course. Yes, that's right. So thanks a lot to Commander Kirschner and to Scorp for today's, today's donation, as well as the one in Super Chat that I've tried to pronounce, Pun, Pun Chen, I think. Thanks a lot for all the donations today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to give the stream a like if you haven't done already. It helps a lot, uh, both on YouTube and on Twitch. And again, remember to subscribe to uh, the channel on YouTube, like over on Twitch or follow over on Twitch, actually. Um, challenge, challenge the channel is getting really close to 60,000, so I really hope we can get there pretty soon. That would be awesome. Next scheduled live stream is going to be Tuesday next week. Um, so stay tuned for that. And I think what we're going to be doing next week is going to be going out and we're going to test out the changes that Frontier's got to implement on Monday for mining. Um, Duncan also says we need 10 more likes. Can we get 10 more likes? So then what are we at? 200 then? Are we that close to 200? I can't even see it here on my screen anymore. And this is clearly not updated. <laughs> Can I get this update? What are you looking for, Don Glor? Are you looking for 175? Seventy three is the goal. Oh, seventy two. Perfect. <laughs> One seventy-five. Thank you, guys. Okay, again, there's a link in Discord. There's a link for Discord in chat. If you want to come over, we got to hang out after the chat. I'm just gonna get some uh, some water and get a bio break, and then I'll be uh, be on Discord. You can come over and you can say hi. Also in the description and in chat in a second. I think you're gonna find links for all kinds of good places, like um, the merch store where you can get yourself a T-shirt. You can get yourself uh, a mug if you want to. Not this one. This is uh, the special. 50,000 one, but there's lots of other cool stuff over there um, you also find links for Social uh, social channels you can find links for patreon if you want to support the channel on a monthly basis and streamlabs for one-time donations Thanks a lot for watching guys and also next time. I'll see you guys in space <laughs>